Imagine a world where you are bound by no physical or mental constraints, where you are the master of your own destiny and where the secrets of the universe unfurl before you like a blossoming flower. This is not a distant utopia. It's a state of existence accessible to each one of us, referred to as spiritual awakening. A transformative journey that transcends the confines of our physical body and ego, spiritual awakening is a profound realization of self-understanding and universal connection. It's like a door that once opened reveals an entirely new perspective of reality, one that has always been present but unseen. As Carl Jung, the great Swiss psychiatrist once said, who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. The catalyst, discontent. Have you ever experienced a persistent sense of dissatisfaction, a lingering feeling that despite achieving everything you thought you wanted, there is still something missing? This universal feeling of discontent is not an anomaly. It is a shared human experience that resonates deeply. It's like a puzzle where a crucial piece is missing. You have the entire picture, yet it inexplicably feels incomplete and leaves you yearning for more. This discontent often manifests itself in various forms. A high-level job that leaves you unfulfilled and longing for more. A perfect relationship that somehow doesn't seem enough to satisfy your soul or a luxurious lifestyle that still doesn't bring the joy and fulfillment you had anticipated. And it's this persistent and nagging feeling that leads you to question, to seek something beyond the mundane and materialistic existence that surrounds you. Consider the tale of Siddhartha Gautama, who lived in opulence, yet was discontented and left his palace in pursuit of the truth. Or think of Eckhart Tolle, who experienced profound despair before an inner transformation led him to spiritual enlightenment. These stories are testament to how discontent can serve as the trigger for spiritual awakening. Discontent pushes us out of our comfort zone, instigating a quest for deeper meaning. It is a catalyst that compels us to question the nature of our existence and the reality of our perceptions. It's a spark that ignites the flame of spiritual awakening, guiding us towards the path of enlightened consciousness. As Rumi, the 13th century Persian poet said, the wound is the place where the light enters you. Discontent is that wound, the birthplace of our spiritual journey, questioning and seeking. The transition from a state of discontent to spiritual awakening is characterized by a phase of questioning and seeking. This stage arises from the realization that the tangible facets of life, wealth, status, and material possessions are not fulfilling the deeper yearning within us. The echo of our inner voice urges us to ask quintessential questions. What is my purpose? What are my true values? Is there a deeper meaning to life? These are not mere intellectual queries, but soul-stirring questions that steer us towards the path of spiritual enlightenment. As we begin to question and ponder, we start seeing the world from a refreshingly different perspective. Materialism, which once seemed to be the be-all and end-all, gradually loses its grip and fades away. The glitter of wealth and fame starts to fade making way for a profound desire to seek a deeper understanding of life. This shift is comparable to looking beneath the surface of the ocean rather than being content with its superficial beauty. Just as the true beauty of the ocean lies beneath its surface, similarly, the essence of life lies beyond the realm of material possessions, waiting to be discovered and embraced with open arms. The shift from materialism to seeking deeper meaning is an essential part of spiritual awakening. It's an inward journey that involves rediscovering and realigning oneself with fundamental human virtues such as compassion, love, and humility. As the 14th Dalai Lama wisely said, 
The goal is not to be better than the other man, but your previous self. This shift is not about renouncing material possessions, but about understanding their transient nature and seeking something more profound, permanent, and fulfilling, the true essence of life. By questioning and seeking, we embark on a path that leads to enlightened consciousness, a state of being where the superficiality of life dissipates and the true essence of existence unfolds. Enlightenment, the awakening. Enlightenment, or spiritual awakening, is a profoundly transformative process that expands our consciousness and fundamentally alters our perception of reality. Just picture yourself in a dimly lit room and gradually someone increases the light. Initially, you see nothing, but as the light intensifies, you start discerning shapes, then a kaleidoscope of colors, and eventually you perceive everything in the room with crystal clarity. This metaphor beautifully captures the profound and awe-inspiring journey of spiritual awakening. As we delve deeper into the profound process of awakening, our perceptions undergo a transformative shift. We start to see beyond the realm of the tangible, the material, and the transient. We begin to grasp the universality of the human experience, the interconnectedness that binds all beings, and the inherently cyclical nature of life. The matrix of our reality undergoes a profound shift unveiling the intricacies previously overlooked in our relentless pursuit of material possessions. During this transformative and enlightening journey, we begin to wholeheartedly embrace spiritual values that align harmoniously with the profound nature of reality. As Buddha once wisely proclaimed, three things cannot be concealed for long, the resplendent sun, the serene moon, and the eternal truth. As our consciousness awakens, we progressively acknowledge and embrace the profound truth regarding our existence, cultivating and embodying values such as boundless love, unwavering compassion, profound gratitude, and profound humility. These deeply cherished values serve as the radiant guiding light, illuminating our path towards a reality that is exquisitely balanced remarkably peaceful, and perfectly attuned to the vast cosmic symphony. In essence, the awakening is not about renouncing the world, rather it's about embracing a broader and more profound understanding of it. It's about realizing that we are not separate entities battling against the world, but an integral part of the cosmos flowing along the river of life. Resistance and inner turmoil. As we embark on this path of spiritual awakening, it is not uncommon to be confronted by our deepest fears, doubts, and uncertainties. In fact, these seemingly daunting challenges are an integral part of the journey and are not to be feared, but rather embraced. Consider the metaphor of a goldsmith refining gold. The gold must first be subjected to intense heat for its true beauty to be revealed. Similarly, it is through facing our deepest fears and insecurities that we undergo a process of purifying transformation. Resistance too, though often perceived negatively, plays a crucial role in our personal growth and strengthening. It's akin to a seed resisting the earth that surrounds it, pushing through it to emerge as a strong, resilient plant. This resistance, this struggle, is a vital part of its growth, enabling it to grow stronger and more resilient. Likewise, rather than recoil in the face of resistance, we should view it as an opportunity for growth, a chance to develop resilience and strength. Remember, each moment of struggle, each moment of resistance, is a step closer to transcendence, to awakening. As the sage Rumi once said, the wound is the place where the light enters you. It's in these moments of profound inner turmoil that we find the most profound opportunities for growth and enlightenment. The abyss, decision point. 
Upon encountering this stage of spiritual awakening, we often find ourselves standing before what seems like an abyss. It represents the unknown, a vast expanse of uncertainty that can be both intimidating and unsettling. This is where we must make the pivotal decision to let go of old certainties, old patterns of thinking and being that no longer serve us. It is stepping off the edge of the familiar and plunging into the depths of uncharted waters. As we navigate this unfamiliar terrain, we may find ourselves questioning what lies beyond the confines of our known world. The answer, though unnerving, is simple infinite possibilities. The decision to embrace the unknown is significant. It is a conscious choice to surrender control, to untether from the safe harbour of certainty and allow the winds of spiritual growth to guide us. It is the acceptance that we are not always the master of our own ship, but sometimes the passenger, allowing life to steer us in new, unexpected directions. In this uncharted territory, we unlearn old ways and open ourselves to new perspectives and experiences that foster growth and enlightenment. Solitude often accompanies this journey into the unknown, but rather than viewing it as a state of loneliness, embrace it as a period of profound self-discovery. It is within the quiet recesses of solitude that we delve into the depths of our being, unearthing truths about ourselves that lay buried under the noise and distractions of everyday life. It is a time for internal reflection, a period where we can listen to the whispers of our souls and uncover our authentic selves. This inward journey is not an escape from the world, but a dive into our inner world, an exploration of our inner cosmos. Remember, as we wander through this stage of the journey, the labyrinth of the unknown is not a maze to trap us, but a pathway leading us towards profound growth and enlightenment. As philosopher Joseph Campbell reminds us, it is by going down into the abyss that we recover the treasures of life. Where you stumble, there lies your treasure. The abyss is not to be feared, but embraced as a womb of self-discovery and rebirth. Rebirth and authenticity. The process of awakening often leads us to confront our shadows, those parts of our psyche that we have ignored, denied, or suppressed. As Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung aptly put it, one does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. Facing and integrating our shadow is a challenging yet crucial step in our spiritual journey. It requires immense courage to delve into our hidden selves, to confront our fears, insecurities and traumas, and to accept them as integral parts of our identity. This process can be uncomfortable, even painful at times, but it is through acknowledging and embracing our darkness that we can truly embrace and radiate our inner light. Rebirth in the spiritual context is not about discarding our old self but rather about uncovering and embracing our authentic identity. It is akin to a phoenix rising from its ashes, reborn with a newfound sense of self that is truer to our essence. This new identity is not constructed by societal norms, expectations or labels, but is a reflection of our innermost thoughts, feelings and desires. Living our truth is the ultimate expression of our authenticity. It is allowing our actions to align with our inner values and beliefs. The importance of this cannot be overstated, for it is only when we live our truth that we can achieve a sense of fulfillment and purpose. It is as Shakespeare famously wrote in Hamlet, this above all, to thine own self be true. In doing so, not only do we pave the way for our own enlightenment, but we also inspire others to embark on their own journey of self-discovery and spiritual awakening. Oneness, the connection. Once we've embraced our authentic self and started living our truth, we begin to experience a sense of interconnectedness, 
a realization that we're not isolated entities, but rather integral components of a grand cosmic tapestry. This is the stage of oneness, the understanding that all existence is intricately linked, each thread contributing to the integrity of the whole. Just as individual notes harmonize to form a symphony, every element in the universe, from the smallest particle to the largest galaxy, interacts in a complex ballet of cause and effect. This realization comes with a profound sense of belonging, a comforting assurance that we are never truly alone. We are not just spectators, but active participants in this universal dance, our actions rippling outwards, influencing and being influenced by the world around us. Hand in hand with this awareness of interconnectedness comes the embracing of unity and unconditional love. We begin to comprehend that separateness is an illusion, for beneath the surface of individual identities and distinct forms, we are fundamentally one. This realization facilitates a shift in perspective from an attitude of judgment and division to one of acceptance and compassion. We start to love unconditionally, not in spite of our perceived differences, but because we understand that at our core, we are all expressions of the same universal consciousness. This transformational understanding of oneness ushers in a sense of profound peace and fulfillment. We are no longer lost souls seeking approval and validation, but interconnected beings experiencing the joy of existence. We are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. As the philosopher Pierre Teilhard de Chardin beautifully expressed. In this state of oneness, we find ourselves at home in the universe, our hearts echoing the rhythm of creation, our spirits dancing in harmony with the cosmic melody of love and unity. Synchronicities flowing with life. As we embark on this profound journey of spiritual awakening, we begin to notice an abundance of signs and meaningful coincidences that appear to transcend the realm of mere chance. These beautifully orchestrated synchronicities are the moments when the universe seems to speak directly to us, confirming our path and gently guiding our every step. They may manifest as recurring numbers, serendipitous encounters, or repeated symbols, each carrying a unique and purposeful message tailored specifically to our individual journey. These synchronicities are not random occurrences, but rather the universe's way of wholeheartedly supporting us, confirming beyond doubt that we are truly in alignment with our higher purpose. They serve as gentle nudges, softly encouraging us to trust deeply in the unfathomable wisdom and benevolent intention of the cosmos. As we continue to deepen our trust, we begin to flow effortlessly and harmoniously with the ebbs and flows of life, gracefully surrendering control and allowing the vast and infinite universe to lovingly guide us along our path. Another essential aspect of flowing with life is learning to listen to our intuition. Our intuition is our inner compass, an innate guide that operates beyond the realm of logic, resonating with truth and authenticity. As we cultivate our intuitive sense, we learn to navigate our spiritual journey with grace and confidence, discerning the subtle cues and whispers that guide us towards our ultimate destination, enlightened consciousness. Remember, every synchronicity, every intuitive nudge is a verse in the universal symphony of life, inviting us to dance in harmony with its divine rhythm, authentic expression. The path to enlightened consciousness calls for an unyielding commitment to truth, a brave and unwavering resolve to discard the social masks that we wear to fit into the world's predefined molds. These masks often represent the personas we adopt to gain approval acceptance and love from those around us. However, 
they often do nothing more than suffocate our true essence and make us forget who we really are. Imagine living life on your own terms, devoid of the fear of judgment, unencumbered by societal expectations. Doesn't that sound liberating? This is what embracing your true self entails. It is about shedding layers of pretense and standing in the magnificent light of your authentic self. This path of authenticity may initially seem daunting as it requires us to venture out of our comfort zones to bravely step into the unknown. But isn't it the only way to realize our full potential, to live life in all its richness and depth? The value of authenticity far exceeds the fleeting satisfaction gained from external approval. Authenticity is the bedrock of genuine relationships, the key to unlocking a life of purpose and fulfillment. By being authentic, we not only honor our unique individuality, but also inspire others to do the same. Authenticity breathes life into our interactions, infusing them with sincerity and depth. It allows us to connect with others on a profound level, hearts speaking to hearts. Isn't that the kind of connection we all yearn for? Remember, the universe doesn't make mistakes. You are uniquely you for a reason. So why not embrace it? Why not celebrate it? It is time to step into the grandeur of your true self and let the authentic expression of your soul shine brightly. Only then can we truly harmonize with the universe's symphony, dancing gracefully to the rhythm of our authentic selves. Elevation of Consciousness. The journey of spiritual awakening beckons us to elevate our consciousness, a call to rise above the mundane and experience life in its fullest, deepest sense. This elevation is not an overnight phenomenon, but a gradual ascent that unfolds as we begin to expand beyond the ordinary mind. The ordinary mind, ensnared in the trappings of the physical world, perceives life through a limited lens, bound by time, space, and sensory experiences. But what if we could transcend these limitations? What if we could tap into a boundless reservoir of wisdom lying dormant within us? This is the realm of the higher self. Recognizing the higher self is akin to awakening a sleeping giant within us. It is the aspect of us that remains untouched by the chaos of life, radiating peace, wisdom, and unconditional love. Our higher self is the compass that reliably guides us toward our true north, providing clarity amidst confusion, strength in adversity, and a sense of purpose in seeming randomness. As our consciousness elevates, we begin to perceive a deeper understanding of reality. No longer are we isolated entities navigating through life independently. Instead, we become aware of our interconnectedness with the universe. Each thought, feeling, and action, we generate ripples out into the cosmos, influencing and being influenced by the grand tapestry of life. This understanding of reality as an interconnected whole fosters a profound sense of unity, compassion, and stewardship for all of creation. The elevation of consciousness is not merely a philosophical concept, but a lived experience, a transformative journey that redefines our perception of ourselves and the world around us. It is about shedding the old limiting paradigms and embracing a new expanded perspective, a perspective that recognizes the magnificence of our existence and the infinite possibilities that life holds. Co-creation with the universe. The journey of spiritual awakening catapults us into a new reality where we operate not as solitary beings, but as co-creators with the universe. This stage is characterized by an understanding of the power of intention and manifestation. You might have heard the phrase, energy flows where attention goes. This is the essence of manifestation. Our thoughts, fueled by our intention, have creative power. When we focus our mental energy on a specific goal or desire, we set in motion 
the energies required to manifest that reality. Think for a moment about the Pygmalion effect, a psychological phenomenon wherein high expectations lead to improved performance. This effect illustrates the power of belief and expectation. Our thoughts and beliefs create a self-fulfilling prophecy, shaping our reality. Just as a sculptor chisels away stone to reveal the statue within, our thoughts and intentions chisel away at the vast field of potentiality, shaping our subjective reality. Recognizing our creative partnership with the divine is the crux of co-creation. This is not about sitting idle, waiting for divine intervention. Rather, it is about taking action in alignment with our intentions while surrendering the outcome to the universal flow. It's like sailing a boat. You can't control the wind, but you can adjust the sails. Similarly, we might not be able to control all circumstances, but we can influence the direction of our lives by aligning our thoughts, feelings, and actions with our highest intentions. Remember, the universe is not a separate entity out there, but a reflection of our internal state. It responds to our vibrational frequency. Low vibrational thoughts, such as fear and doubt, can block the manifestation process, whereas high vibrational thoughts, like love and gratitude, can accelerate it. As Albert Einstein once said, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy, this is physics. Co-creation is about understanding this divine dance between intention, action and surrender and consciously participating in it. It's about awakening to the realization that we are not mere spectators in the universe, but active participants shaping our destiny. Through this partnership with the divine, we step into our power, harnessing our inherent potential to manifest our desires and live a life of purpose, abundance, and joy. Unconditional love and compassion. Unconditional love is the cornerstone of the universe, the inexhaustible wellspring from which all creation springs forth. It is the sustaining force that permeates every atom, every galaxy, every bit of cosmos. It is the glue that binds each element together, creating the harmonious dance of existence we witness around us. To awaken spiritually is to tap into this boundless reservoir of love within us. As the great spiritual teacher, Thich Nhat Hanh, eloquently put it, the source of love is deep in us and we can help others realize a lot of happiness. One word, one action, or one thought can reduce another person's suffering and bring that person joy. Cultivating compassion, forgiveness, and acceptance is the natural progression of this awakening. Compassion is the ability to feel others' pain as our own, freeing us from the illusion of separateness. It urges us to extend our love towards everyone, even those who have wronged us, fostering forgiveness. Forgiveness, in turn, liberates us from the shackles of resentment, facilitating emotional healing. It is a gift we give to ourselves, allowing us to move forward unburdened by past hurts. Acceptance is the final piece of this spiritual puzzle. It is the understanding that everyone is on their unique journey, fighting their battles, learning their lessons. It involves embracing all aspects of life, the light and the dark, the joy and the pain, with the realization that every experience is a stepping stone on the path of enlightenment. When we approach life with acceptance, we cease to resist its flow, allowing ourselves to grow and evolve with grace and ease. In practicing unconditional love, compassion, acceptance and forgiveness, we align ourselves with the highest vibrational frequency, transforming not only our lives, but also the world around us. Conclusion. 
As we conclude our exploration of the stages of spiritual awakening, let's reflect upon this journey with humility and gratitude. It's essential to remember that this path is not a race, but a voyage of self-discovery. Humility keeps us grounded in the knowledge that there is always more to learn, always more growth to be experienced. Gratitude, on the other hand, anchors us in the present moment, allowing us to appreciate the beauty of the now and recognize each experience as a precious teacher. Remember, the path to enlightened consciousness is not a solitary journey. You are a part of a community of seekers, each on their unique journey of awakening. Engage with this content, share your experiences, ask questions, learn from others, and contribute to the collective wisdom of this community. As the philosopher Ram Das once said, we're all just walking each other home. This is your invitation to embark on this journey of spiritual awakening. Let's walk each other home with humility and gratitude, supporting and learning from one another along the way. Take a moment now to reflect on what you've learned and how you can apply these insights to your spiritual journey. Remember, every step forward, no matter how small, is a step towards enlightened consciousness. Start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step today.